Hello everyone, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to do a little short talk about picking the correct hammer for the correct job. Thanks for watching. Okay everyone, in this video I'm going to explain a little bit about the characteristics of a good forging hammer or picking the right hammer for the right job. A good forging hammer is going to obviously have some high carbon steel faces to it. If it is your purpose to forge out steel and have a longevity of a tool. Um, this here hammer is made from wrought iron. The body is wrought iron with uh, two faces, high carbon steel faces, forge welded into it. I believe those are 1045 faces and um, just hardened and tempered like you normally would. The hammer it is set on a 16 inch long hammer handle. I like long hammer handles. Uh, with small weighted hammers myself for most all of my work. It gives me a much longer longevity in the forge and ability to strike and pretty much the ability to forge stuff up to one inch um, material with this hammer. Anything above that and I move up to a three pound forging hammer. This is one of the first forging hammers I ever forged with. And uh, so it's a favorite of mine. It's, well, it's from China. It's three pound from China, from Harbor Freight. Um, it's held up well for a lot of years. So anything over one inch material that I absolutely must have to hammer on by myself, I'll use this big old boy here, three pounds, once again on a 16 inch long ham hammer handle. Um, and I can do most of all my work with just these two hammers. But today's video is about picking the right hammer for the right job. If you'll notice on this hammer, I've got a 3 8 inch radius, rounded, uh, radius cross peen, as where this is about a half an inch flat cross peen. And these have two different distinct advantages. When I'm needing really severe spreading, a lot of spreading, and you know I need to move a lot of material, push a lot of material around at once, this is my go-to hammer. When I need to take and be a little more finessing with the spread and control it better, I use this flat cross peen, and I find that it works a lot better. I learned about this from a gentleman by the name of Peter Ross, and... Uh, you know, I figured I'd give it a go on one of my hammers, and I can say officially I love using a flattened cross peen. So much so, I rarely use this one. Then I have another one that has another different radius to the peen, um, even thinner yet. I use this for texturing operations mainly, as it's too choppy to take and do much good work with. I also use the other end of this hammer that I've shaped up much like a big broad ball peen to be able to do some texturing work and to form steel bowls in a swedge block. So I hope you see where I'm going with this. There's all sorts of whole salu and variety of hammers. Here is a ball peen hammer that I use daily. It's also, I use the ball quite frequently for texturing work. And then I barely ever use the, this actual face for anything. Um, occasionally, I'll straighten something out. But for the main part, I use the ball peen and the ball peen hammer. And yet another hammer. This one here is one that I forged myself. It's a little rounding hammer, a little farrier's turning hammer. Um, this is handy in certain applications where I need to, once again... I need a different shaped radius to get into a specific spot on the steel to forge the steel correctly. Um, this is a much smaller hammer and I like using it for rivets and things of that nature. It, it just makes a nice hammer. So my point, where am I going with all this? My point is, is that hammers are tools. Hammers are a piece of tooling in the shop. And a lot of times, a hammer is not meant to be a do-all. If you only have one hammer, it has to be your do-all hammer. But I would encourage you to get a large selection and a large arrayment 
of hammers. Don't let your collecting stop. Find different hammers. Repurpose them for what you need them to do, a specific task, and then use them for that task. They will become a lot handier to you and they will improve the quality of your work. So don't get locked into this thought process that you need to choose one style hammer or one style forging style or any of that garbage. You need to tr pick up and try all these things yourself. Try a different size hammer. Try different styles of hammers. Large hammers, small hammers, everything in between. And find something that you can do the best work with the most efficiently. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. This is just a real quick tip um, from the Forge about hammers. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, get the thumbs up. If you didn't, give it the thumbs down. And we'll catch you on the next video.